if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. All right, little shop tour time. Uh, one of the things you may really uh, notice right away is all the additional lifts. You've all been watching me work with the Boss Equipment uh, lift for quite some time. And like we said, unfortunately, COVID uh, screwed that up. But I finally just uh, opened up uh, all the crates. Uh, I've got two of them going. This one will be a really interesting video uh, that the track bike's on because uh, it had a bad cylinder on it from the manufacturer and it was a huge struggle because it couldn't get it. No one's around. I don't know if that company went out of business with COVID too. But anyway, what I did is uh, sourced it, learned about it, and I fixed the cylinder myself. So I'm really excited to get that video out to show you how to rebuild one of these uh, hydraulic cylinders. It was crazy easy. It was way harder to find the part and and get the confidence there than anything else so um killer got two of those working super in love with it and i'm really excited about what i did with the uh with the pumps and the controllers here they come with this magnetic controller so i've just got them orientated for up and down i put an electrical bar um underneath the table there which was actually really cool as a gift from a friend of mine from radio shack i just was able to put a a regular plug on it and then i love all these flooring i haven't mounted this one yet because that one's a little bit proud with that sheathing so i am going to mount that one these sit nice and flat i think i'm just going to let them be because i'm not 100 percent sure these are where the lifts are going to go so that's what's going on with that um, I got that vice mounted from uh, that auction. That fucking thing is so killer. It rotates around and whatnot. So um, I love, 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 love that vice. Been using the heck out of it. Uh, you may have seen a past video. I talked about how I did a dedicated carb station where all my carb tools, I mean, from magnifying glasses uh, and everything's in one spot. My fuel testing, like here's a set of carbs. They're getting ready to go on the CBR. They've been sitting on there for a few hours making sure they don't leak. Can walk away from it, continue on, do other things. Uh, let's turn a little light on. I got a nice LED light uh, on there as well. So this is like ramped up the, the speed and consistency at which I can uh, knock out these carb jobs and then having everything in one spot. Crazy helpful. Um, fixing a light right now. Ballast is out of that. Um, the one thing I didn't have here that was just getting annoying was a dedicated airline. In my last shop, I had a dedicated airline on the carb bench, which is crazy useful, right? So I was having to drag that line all the way over here, and I was getting sick of it. So what I did is, uh, if you haven't seen, I'm pretty sure I've made some videos. I might have to look for them. I made some videos on how to use this quick uh, airline. And up in the ceiling, I put a T, ran it across the ceiling, hence another reason the bike needed all the towels over it. Um, and then what I did is I popped it out over here and this became really useful because I, uh, I put in a line here with its own shut off. Now I can regulate this down because I just don't need 90 PSI at, at airlines. You know, the only reason I needed the main higher air pressure is because of where I put uh, the line out there. I'm going to tee off into the tire machine and then make another tee up to that air hose when I, when I get the tire machine done. Wait till you hear the partner. We got the channel on, uh on tires i'm gonna leave that one a little bit secret right now but uh anyway this thing's way cool so now i got a dedicated airline for not only the carb station but also a little crowded in here for the machine shop so this i'm always always wanting to grab something and now it's like crazy handy i can go do what i need to do plus like i said it's regulated down and then and then now I've got the soda blaster and the other sandblast cabinet, which I still haven't used. I found a damn need for that for what I do, but soda blasting and vapor blast tonight, crazy. So I uh, have a dedicated line here now. The plugins kind of cleaned up this area. Uh, I've got a long way to go. This is really pretty much a glorified battery charging station. I pretty much always grab this grinder and I move it over to the roto bench I haven't finished. I got a nice little bang away bench here saws and so on uh the mill's gonna get used here this weekend we're gonna slot some cams super excited about that um so this area has really come a long way um i got a bunch of engines off a of auction i want to do some content on how better content because i have a really old video on how to install uh cylinders on inline four by yourself people really kind of struggle with that on the tools or breaking a ring so i went to go buy one and ended up with four motors so a couple uh, a dl and a tl motor 
and I really, like I said, was only looking for a GS6R. And then I bought a dang track bike that has what I think is a bad motor. Uh, anyway, it's locked up. That whole wheel turning trick I did at the auction uh, when I picked it up and saw, damn it, that something right, it won't turn over. But anyway, uh, this lift I haven't set up yet. Still got that pump. I don't know if I really showed or explained. So like the pump can just sit out like that and you can put it wherever you want. And I may have got a little off track when I was showing how cool it is that these are mounted under the table and under the hose routing. They're just slicking out of the way, and man, I can lift these things up 47 inches. Way cool. These lifts ha all have the wheel drops, front and rear, to the tool trays. I just quit bragging about them because can't get them. So pretty bummed out about that, pretty heartbroken. But anyway, uh, shop's come a long way, long way, really excited. Oh, you know what else? I could show you kind of some, uh, started hanging some of the memorabilia uh, from uh, people I've worked with. There was the first chopper I uh, ever built uh, completely myself with students. Didn't need Clay or Terry anymore. And then uh, hung up the championship uh, body from uh, 2002 from the Sierra, uh, novice championship you know best uh, three dollar trophy ever got right there whole season and that's what you get <laughs> anyway it's just kind of fun uh i found this photo is crazy cool it's the first motor I ever did with my buddy roger service and i still actually have the spun plane bearings I kept it all those years because it was just kind of fun this was the very first shop my mom's garage when i was 19 i think something like that maybe i was 20 uh just way cool bike trips uh this is that chopper that i was pointing out was the first one ever built this is how it turned out stupid fun wish i still had sierra you know we want to keep them all clay jensen when we uh started the chopper building school the casino bike when we won sturgis uh there's clay actually riding it in uh street chopper there's the belt that the 124 inch motor didn't like and spun off uh, I don't know, just cool stuff. Come along, kind of got the training aids on a little bare spot out in the, you know, and set tucked away way in the back. And then I can't wait to at some point do an electrical class. That seems to be a big uh, desire. We'll have remote and in person on that. And then just got shit tucked away. You've probably been seeing a lot of this stuff just all over the place. Uh, it's really, man, I'm really happy with this. The setup's really working well. So. All right, my friends, that is your quick tour. Uh, super stoked and uh, just having fun with it all. I hope you're uh, having a great day. I'm going to get back at it because i got to get this thing done because he's been waiting for a crazy long time. I'm sure Patrick is super excited to go ride the CBR 400 again. So as always, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.